Good day, everyone. Trainer Maxim with you. Thank you very much for joining me for this episode. Today, we're going to talk about a slightly different take on lifting the weights. As always, I want to sincerely thank everyone who supports my channel, all the questions, all the comments. Thank you very much. And of course, your generosity. Super thanks. It's, it's amazing. And my support angels. You help me a lot, guys and girls. Thank you so much. Thank you. Now about lifting the weights. Why we lift the weights? Typically, we lift the weights to increase the muscle mass or drive hypertrophy or get stronger and etc. But I would like you to have a look at it in a different angle. We would like to lift the weights as a way to challenge our ability to stay in full control. What I mean by this? If we look at our body, our body is a highly sophisticated dynamic system. The system of levers and muscles working with each other, uh, interaction with each other. So when you want to move, your muscles are pulling on your bones in certain ways, producing certain movements. And in turn, the muscles are guided by the central nervous system. The central nervous system coordinates the muscle work, decides uh, with what strength that or another muscle will be engaged. And in turn, the central nervous system is guided by your consciousness, by your desire to live, by your vision, by your analysis, by your knowledge of the body structure, etc. So we have four levels of uh, interactions within the body. It starts with the consciousness, how you see the movement, uh, whether you want to perform a movement or not to begin with, how, you, uh, how much you know about the movement, that will affect the uh, central nervous system, the central nervous system's ability to engage the muscles, uh, in which sequence, uh, with what strength, for, for how long, and etc. The, uh, the central nervous system will activate the muscles. The muscles, in certain, uh, in certain way, will start pulling on your bones and you will produce a movement or lift a weight. So we have four levels of interactions and at any of those levels, we can actually make an error. Well, if your mood is not in the right place, that might affect your ability to produce uh, a movement such as handstands or lift the weights. If your uh, perception of the movement is not correct, then it will affect uh, your outcome as well. If you have a little pull or little injury somewhere in the middle of the spine or in your knee, that will affect your system. So your system is a highly dynamic environment where so many things might go wrong during its activity. And that's why, in the first place, we want to uh, see the weightlifting as a way to challenge your ability to stay in control at all of those four levels. Control your mood, attitude, vision, control the work of the central nervous system, your perception, your senses, control the muscle works, uh, how they pull, where they pull, and control the position of your bones, whether your legs apart or together, and etc. And for as long as you stay in control at all those four levels, you can keep lifting the weights and you keep adding the weights uh, to your exercises. But uh, as soon as you lost the ability to control those four levels and uh, your performance is not, uh, is not as smooth as it should be with that weight, I think we need to take one step back, reconsider, improve uh, at some certain areas uh, which might need some improvement and continue uh, increasing the weights only after we have done that. Otherwise, we might sacrifice the ability to control the body for the sake of lifting weights at any cost. And when it's the case, then uh, we might often pay a very significant price in terms of our health for lifting the weights in a proper weight. Often I see young people in the gym in pursuit of greater weights with deadlifts and squats, they just sacrifice so many, uh, so many components of the proper mechanics for the sake of lifting the weights. I think it needs to be corrected. I think we need to, uh, to keep in mind that our body is sophisticated, that at so many levels we can make an error. And ideally we want to maintain the ability to stay in control at all those four levels while we are lifting the weights. And as a result, we will be rewarded by extra strength actually in greater volume because if you stay in control at so many levels, yes, you will be efficient, but you will be spending a little bit more resources of the body, but in different areas, more from the 
some central nervous system resources, some, uh, some connective tissue resources, some muscle tissue resources, etc. So the workload of the weightlifting will be redistributed across the body versus when you sacrifice that ability and start lifting the weights, then only your bones and connective tissue might be, uh, might be uh, very active uh, while your perception and the central nervous system work uh, are not so significant. And now you're lifting the weights, overloading your connective tissue because the proper mechanics of the movement is not there. So I really encourage you to keep this in mind. Keep in mind that your body is highly sophisticated, dynamic system. And by the way, those insignificant changes in the system, in dynamic system, um, it's called butterfly effect. When any insignificant uh, change of the initial setup of the dynamic system might lead to chaotic, unpredictable outcomes uh, anywhere in that system. Butterfly effect, a very famous term. And the field of uh, study which deals with these dynamic systems and butterfly effect has a chaos theory. So in a way, our body is very chaotic and we would like to stay in control. It's a stretch, of course, but just keep it in mind. So I think you got my point. Please leave the weights as a way to reinforce, to improve your ability to stay in control at all those four levels, no matter what. And after, you can increase the weight. Okay, that's it. Let me think. Uh, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for your attention. Train your maximum with you, and I will see you in my next video. Go enjoy your day, everyone. Thank you. Bye bye.